And the rhubarb is ripe. Ooh. And the bees are beginning their flight to my garden. To my garden. And the birds, oh, the sweet little birds, tell me go outside. Go outside. To my garden. As we said we were, so we've got a bit more to do with y'all here. Um, the forest garden is done. And it is all of you, all of us, who have created it. Uh, and I am super, super grateful to all of you for all your time and energy and sweat and um, whatever else went into this garden. Uh, and so, uh, in honor of you all who helped to create this garden, we would like to name all of the patches in this garden after the participants who are here. <laughs> so, uh, what, what, what I would like you to do is uh, think about which of the patches in this garden you feel connected to, um, uh, which ones you designed or which ones you planted or whatever. There's more than enough for everyone and you can definitely share patches with other people. Essentially, I think that forest gardening offers us answers to both our problems of climate change and the food shortage problems that the world is starting to see increasingly and especially the rising cost. And that um, with the advent of agroecology, we've been learning more and more about how our agricultural annual systems can be incredibly destructive to the soils in particular and leach all kinds of nutrients, even organic, especially industrial organic agriculture is not generally helpful to the health of our ecosystems. And what forest gardening does is because it mimics the function and structure of natural ecosystems, it can provide wildlife habitat at the same time as feed people. Um, and it can really dramatically increase the health and soil fertility of a site while offering delicious local foods um, with nutrients in them as a result of having plants that can tap into the subsoil um, that aren't in most annual vegetables that can only just tap into the very shallow topsoils which are rapidly eroding all over the world. In my garden, in my garden well, the asparagus is cut to the ground And the rhubarb is still around In my garden, in my garden Well, this is summer's delight Swimming in the lake at night Water, won't you wash my hands? Help me to understand my garden, in my garden. My long-term goal and vision is for sustainable abundance for all people on the planet. Uh, and I want that abundance to be uh, safe, delicious food, um, clean drinking water, abundant renewable energy, and clean homes. Uh, that combined with uh, an overabundance of community and love, uh, that's sort of my ultimate goal. That's what inspires me to put these systems into the ground because even though we're planting plants here, it's not the most important thing we're doing. Mm -hmm. The most important thing we've done here is drawn together over 45 people that have come here uh, over these last four days to create their own human ecosystem and learn to cooperate with each other to do a massive amount of work in a short amount of time. And those community ties and that sort of culture, agriculture, we want to rebuild culture, we need a regenerative culture uh, to survive through the coming instabilities. So I want to ask you all to close your eyes for a second. And we're going to push ahead 15 years from now. And think about the spot that you put your name under, that spot that you developed a relationship with. What is it going to look like? Is there going to be fruit 
dripping from those trees? Is the ground going to be littered with plums? Are the bushes going to be bursting with juicy berries? The sun chokes tall and blowing in the wind. <coughs> the birds will still be chirping overhead. 